I've made some bad decisions today. But, you know, I already paid for it. So it is time to reap the benefits, my guys. Okay, so today I am going to be unboxing a Pokemon Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box that I impulse bought because I didn't know that there was a promo holo uh, ho -o card. Holo. Ho -o, right smack in the middle. And it's shiny and beautiful and I need it in my collection. So that's pretty much why I bought it. And also the sleeves have this this cool black and gold color scheme going on, which is really kind of neat. So see, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I did. I bought it and it is time. It is time to open it and unveil the mysteries within now. Okay. Also apologies in advance for a, the fact that the camera is going to be shaking because this is on an old kitchen table that isn't the sturdiest in the world. Two, for any weird background clicky noises, which will may or may not result from my headphones, which they're kind of cool. Like I put parlor beads on them. They're really neat. Anyway, so here we go. I've opened the seal. We have the box and the obligatory cardboard. We have the card guide that has all of the neat cards you can get, as well as how to play, which I, that's irrelevant to me because I can't comprehend something as basic as Pokemon. Um, then next we have the, my favorite part of these boxes actually. You always get this gorgeous, almost like miniature poster. Oh, that's cool. So on the top, we have shiny Rayquaza, shiny Mew, just normal Mewtwo for some reason, and shiny Genesect, which is really neat. I have like three of these now and I still need to put them up on my walls. Anyway, back to the main point. Here we have our Shining Legends box. There it is, it's beautiful. And we are going to open it and take the cardboards out. And um, we got the energies. We've got, oh, that's pretty. Ooh, <laughs> it's even shinier than I thought it would be. We've got the, um, the card sleeves, which are beautiful. Look at that shine. Very nice. I can't wait to use them. Hopefully I'll be able to use them several times throughout this unboxing. We have our damage counters as well as the GX thing specifier. We have our, our competition viable die. -z. We have our little... Oh, that would have been bad. Hold on. I'm just going to slide that over to the side. We have our little dividers for later on when I'm organizing this stuff. And then we have, wait a minute. There she is. Oh my, oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh my God. That is stunning. I, 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 uh. okay. So I wasn't actually aware that this hollow would just be on the Pokemon itself. And it's also textured. You can actually see it. That's phenomenal. Okay. So I'm going to, oh God, I'm going to very, very, oh, very carefully open this and put it into a top loader and, and, you know, card sleeve. Oh God. I don't even want to touch it. It's Jesus. It's basically like the rainbow rares, but only on the ho -Oh. 
That is amazing. Okay, this alone makes this box worth it to me. That is incredible. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put ho in a ho card sleeve. And I'm going to grab a card thing. What do you call them? Top top loader. Which hopefully I have here in this box. If I don't, that's going to suck. Well, what do you know? I only have penny sleeves in here. Okay, so um, that's going to just sit in the background for now. In all her grace and beauty. And now we get into the good stuff. Hold on, let me straighten this. It's driving me nuts. Center. Center. That's good enough. Okay. So now we get onto the packs. We have today. Oh my god, this is a uh, this is actually a lot of packs. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs to go through today. That's some good stuff. And hopefully the odds will be in my favor tonight. And we'll be able to get some more really sick looking cards. Oh, well, I was going to try to salvage that, but I guess not. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. My very first Shining Legends. All right. Oh, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. From my observations, whenever you get the white and green background, you're guaranteed a hollow or better. And if it's just the solid green with all the little cards lined up, then you're screwed. Um, I know that started, I think, back when they were mapping the Sun and Moon boxes. But I've noticed it on every single pack I've opened since. And they're completely regular packs. So, alright, I'm gonna guess this is four to the front. Maybe? Hopefully? Yes, okay. So on our first pack, we have a fighting energy, or a ground energy, or whatever they call it, in the TCG. Because I don't actually know what I'm talking about when, when it comes to the TCG. I just collect them and I just think they look pretty. Next up we've got an Arbok basking in the sun. An Ar Arbok Arbasking. We've got a Pokemon breeder manhandling a rock ruff. But he's having a good time, so that's okay. And Miltank's, Miltank's enjoying herself too. Then we have my girl, Lily with a really cool looking 3D CGI bridge in the background. Then we have lovely little Pikachu observing a rainbow over a meadow. Very nice. Next up we've got Totodile, who is uh, splashing about in a waterfall, it looks like. Having a, having a bath, perhaps. Then we've got Bulbasaur, who is... Uh, I guess looking at some bubbles or some lens flares or something. Then we have a little Gallet with a lot of power. He's lifting that rock real good. Then we whoa <laughs> we got Croconaw here who's um got a sort of haunter pose going on. He's ready to jump on something. Our reverse today is Scraggy, who's it almost looks like he's trying to use this little stick and the little leaves protruding from it as a parcel to keep the sun off of him, but it's it's not working very well. Okay, and next, finally, we have... Ooh, a Manaphy! Okay, so there we go. We got a hollow Manaphy. Gorgeous. Okay, so let me grab another... Where did I put them? Oh, here we go. Grab another card sleeve. There we are. Slide that in really carefully. Okay. There we go. And you can sit right back here with Ho-Ho. Next up, we have a Mewtwo pack. Let's see how we do. And of course these packs are not 
keen on being preserved. Okay. Okay, we got another good one. That's a good sign. Here we go. One, two, three, four, to the front. I feel sneeze coming on. I feel like it's probably going to not happen because it always teases me like that. Give me like two seconds. <laughs> oh my god, okay, it happened. Jesus, okay. So we started off with another ground fighting energy. Now we have a really cool looking, almost 3D model-ish type art style uh, Venusaur. We have Incineroar uh, shooting flames from its, its belt area. A Pokemon catcher. Which, I don't exactly know how that would work. It looks more like a megaphone, if you ask me. Then we have a really, really disgruntled quillfish. Uh, with some really nice, intense lighting going on. Looks like his bottom half is made of metal shiny. We have a Torkoal blowing off some steam in the mountains. Or their volcanoes, rather. We have Minun being cheeky. And, and running off while Plusle struggles in the background and is just suffering. Look at that fa Oh, wait. Wait a sec. No, no, no. Plusle's not suffering. I see that smile. Never mind. Okay. So they're both happy. This one's kind of just like laughing like XD. <laughs> XD. <laughs> like that's basically what Plusle's doing. We have Jinx playing peekaboo with no one. We have Ivysaur running through a grassy field. How cute. I love that. And I really like the background too. Sunset colors are A+. Plus. Good job. Our reverse on this one is a dark energy, which is really, really cool looking. And finally, okay, we got another normal. Okay, that's really, really cool. That's really, really cool. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. We're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna slide that in carefully. There we go. Okay, that will suffice. And we'll put him back there, or her, or it, or they. It is genderless. It has no gender. I can't believe we're only two packs in. This is actually pretty cool. Alright. Oh, that one came undone pretty nicely. Ooh, not bad. Let's see how this side fares. Not well. Not well at all. Okay, let's see what we got this time. Another one. Okay. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So now we go one, two, three, four. There we are. We start with a fire energy. A Scrafty. And some very 90s looking like 3D glasses kind of background going on there. We have a Golurk. Oh, and a, and a freaking Reshiram in the background, which is beautiful. I love Reshiram. That's, they're, they're, they're just taking off into space for some reason. They're, they're having a good time. See, I was going to say this reminds me of the Reshiram and Kurum, uh, not Reshiram and Kurum, Reshiram and, what's the other one's name? Whatever the, well, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I don't- I can't remember what the electric thing is. Um, wow, that's sad. Anyway, I was gonna say it looks kind of like uh, a scene that would happen in the movie, but the Golurk in that movie is a shiny Golurk. Fun fact. Which all of you probably already knew. Next up we've got a Switch. Nintendo Switcheroo. We have a Breloom enjoying a lovely, lovely day amongst the flowers. 
and sparkles and it's having a really really good time and that's really nice hibernation spore hibernating in a place like that would be really nice we have a very sassy little litten licking himself then we have larvesta with really really nice shading i love that art style we have a mischievous purloin who's uh, getting up to some trouble in the city tonight. I'm gonna go steal some salmon. We have our Haunter Croconaw again with the grabby hands and the uh, insatiable glare there. As for our reverse, we've got Sophocles doing whatever he's doing programming a board or something i don't even know and then on the end we have reshiram yay oh my gosh that's awesome i'm so glad and it's funny how reshiram was just chilling he made a cameo she made a cameo it made a cameo they made a cameo uh in the background with Kolurk just earlier beautiful beautiful gosh reshiram is such a gorgeous pokemon all right, and uh, I'll put that right here for now. Next up, we've got another Shining Mew. I'm not even going to care about the packs at this point. I just want to get to the cards. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, okay. So that's not technically our first card. Is, is there guaranteed a hollow in each of these packs? Because that's, that's, that's the trend. That's what's seeming to happen here. Okay. We start off with a leaf energy. A super scoop up. Which is, it looks more like a super suck up. But, you know. We have a spirit tomb exerting some, some ghostly energies. Another incineroar and its, its uh, flame belt. And this, this here, look at this. Is this not the most wholesome image you've ever seen in the TCG? Because it is to me, because look at this. Oh, oh no. Do you guys see that? Look at this. We got something good. We got something real good. But before we get to that, I like this a lot. You got like, Mima. I love you, Mima. That was such a good movie. I gotta rewatch it sometime. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm actually putting that card aside because I really like that card. We have a Buizel just kind of chilling in his uh, hot tub that's not actually a hot tub. It's just like a little spring or something. Plusle and Minin shaking their rooties at a fun dance party. Cat just kind of running along. It looks like it's chasing after something. Perhaps a Spiro. Scraggy and his uh, really sad makeshift par par parasol, parasol, parasol. It's it's the umbrella you use to block the sun. Whatever whatever that is called, I think it's a par parasol, parasol. There we go. Our reverse is a floatzel who has quite honestly had it with the ocean apparently, and it's just kicking the water. It's fighting the water, and then on the end. Da 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 da! Woo! It is a Mewtwo GX! That's really cool. I really, really love the texture on the background of these. Gorgeous. So let me grab a. Ah! It's sticking. There we go. Alright. Careful. Okay. We're good. We made it. I'm just going to kind of layer that in front. I guess it's opening this way this time. There's our shiny, angry quillfish again. Alright, and... Yeah, I think there's a, a guaranteed hollow in each of these packs. Which is swell, to be honest. Okay. We have a psychic energy to start off. Sophocles doing his thing. A carnivine looking kind of 
remorseful, anguished. Is Carnivon okay? He looks really upset and worried and ashamed. I feel so bad for it. What the heck? Oh, there, there. I would feed you a rainbow poke bean if I could. For alligator, using a hydro pump, perhaps? Oh, hydro splash. I'm sorry. Big buff quillfish puff. A stun fisk kind of just splashing like a magic arc. Another Bulbasaur and its bubble lens flares. Another strong gullet. A Voltorb challenging the sun to a freaking. Okay, so you know how the, the sun is like composed of lots and lots of nuclear reactions. He's like, you know what, pal? I can explode too. I can become a fiery ball of death too. You want to fight about it? Let's go. That's what this Voltorb is saying. Next, we've got the 90s 3D reverse Scrafty. It's interesting. And then finally, we have... Ooh, Verzion. Galloping across the plains. Very pretty. Oops. Ooh, our next pack has a shiny Rayquaza on it, which I would love to salvage this if I can. I'm gonna try to be as careful as possible. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that kind of works. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, we begin with a dark energy, a Lipod, which, oh my gosh, I love that art style. Who's the artist? Kawaiyo. Interesting. Kawaiyo? Sounds almost like Japanese for, like, it's scary. It's beautiful. And I can only speak weeaboo, so don't quote me on that. Next up, we got a Volcarona. Causing a brush fire, I, I think. Another Pokemon catcher. Minon and Plusle tagging along in the background. Jinx and her peekaboo antics. Scraggy and his poor parasol. Shroomish running away from something. I don't quite know what that something is, but Shroomish is sure trying to get away from it. A big old quillfish. Our reverse is a great ball. And on the end, we have Palkia! Ah! Oh gosh, I love Palkia. Oh. Pearl will always hold a very special place in my heart. That was, that was a time and a half, let me tell you. I'm actually replaying it now because back when I first played through it, when it came out, I was in middle school and I had apparently no moral compass and... I let people convince me to use their game sharks and hack master balls into the game and rare candies into the game and things like that and the walkthrough walls glitch not glitch the walkthrough walls hack now I use the void glitch which is that's legit that's the good stuff but um yeah so that's I love it <laughs> next up we got another shiny genus act Oops, I did not mean to tear that corner off. Oh! Okay, we got something good on this one. I'm gonna cry. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay. We have an electric energy. Sophocles. A great ball. Scrafty, crafty, crafty. Stun Fisk. Bulbasaur, Golet, Voltorb challenging the sun, Breloom enjoying the flowers, Buizel having a nice dip in the pond, and we have Mewtwo GX! Another one! 
Beautiful. Magnificent. Very, very nice. All right. That's pretty good. There we go. All right. We are down to only three more packs. But I'm loving this. I am loving this set. Next up, we have this one. Oh, oh, shoot. Oops. It's not like I use the codes anyway. I kind of just hoard them. Okay. Forward to the front. We start with a water energy and go on to a Volcarona. A damage mover. That that does not look very pleasant. It looks like a, like a needle. An Ultra Ball. Ooh. A Tora cat chasing after something and waiting for it. Trying to say, wait, you'll hold up a sec. I got a Charlie horse, my guy, please. We got Minun, uh, Plusle and Minun dancing it out. My beautiful Zoro card! I love it! You're going back there, you're special, I love you. Ivysaur, Torkoal. A Torkoal and a Torkoal! Double up, my guy. Alright, and on the end... Whoa! That's it! Sekrom! Okay, now <laughs> we know the name! Oh my gosh. So we got Reshiram and Zekrom. Beautiful, beautiful. Second to last pack. We have... Actually, both of the last packs are Mewtwo. Two Mewtwo packs for two Mewtwo EXs that I have received. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Do I see? No, I don't. That was the back card anyway. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. We have a Steel Energy, a Warp Energy, an Electrode, um... I don't, you see, I can't tell if this is trying to be intimidating or if it's like just really enthusiastic. I feel like it's just really enthusiastic. It, it doesn't look like it means any harm. Floats will fight in some waves. Litten. Larvesta. Breloom. Toracat. Plusle. Minen as our reverse, and finally, another Manaphy. So we did double up, unfortunately, but that's fine. Manaphy's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to be fresh out of top loaders when I'm done with this. And we have our final pack of Shining Legends. Here we go. Oops. I did not mean to do this. I'm so sorry. Okay. Get that out of the way. Oh, I see it. I see it. That's going to be a good way to end this. Oh my gosh. All right. So. Oh, four to the front. There we go. All right. Up front, we have a fairy energy. My favorite type of energy. Feraligator, Warp Energy, Energy Retrieval, Golet, Croconaw, being hecka creepy again, Litten, better than you, Litten, Larvesta, Breloom, Voltorb challenging the sun, but this time with shine, and finally, Okay, whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I wasn't expecting to get a rainbow rare. That's gorgeous! So I have an Entei GX rainbow rare. Oh my god. Okay. All right. That is incredible. Secret rainbow rare. All right, let us 
put that very, very carefully into the sleeve. That has such a nice texture, but I don't want to touch it too much. Alrighty, okay, so let us review. Let me gather up the regular hollows. I will put these guys in sleeves as well, because I love them. I would love a reverse hollow of one of those. And then we'll get out the two GX, and then the real GXs start. Brazil, Sharon, Shining Arceus, and Shining Hollow, and finally, alrighty, so, we will review now. So today, $50 later, I have acquired a Hollow Reshiram, Hollow Verizion, two Hollow Manaphys, a Hollow Zekrom, a Hollow Palkia, a Mewtwo GX, and an even crazier version of Mewtwo GX. Beautiful shine. Then I have a Shining Arceus, beautiful card. The promo Shining Hollow. And last but certainly not least, our Rainbow Rare, Secret Rare, Entei GX. All right, well, that is going to do it for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, yeah, feel free to come back because uh, I'm going to make bad mistakes in the future without a doubt because <laughs> i cannot i can't resist these it's impossible so i'm out of here see y'all later